Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the image print cut it out contouring features. I have three images that I'll be using in this tutorial to demonstrate each of the features. Let's start with the daisy thank you image. I'm going to right mouse click on the image and go down and select contouring to bring up the contouring window. Up at the top we need to select what type of contour we want to make. We have both contour and wrap. Contour follows the shape or outline of the image. Now in this case, we're also going to see a lot of stray contours. I'll show you how to control that in a bit, but let's first switch to wrap and I'm going to select exclude interiors. This will get rid of the stray contours for now. We can also see how wrap builds a wrapper around the outer edge of the image. Let's go back to contour and we can see by default it does a really good job following the shape of the daisy. Right now I have exclude interiors on, but I have this small punch out hole at the top of the image that also needs to be contoured. To address that, I'm going to need to turn off exclude interiors and deal with the stray contours another way. The stray contours are there because the algorithm is looking at the default pixel average compared to the background. We need to change that threshold in order to exclude these lighter areas from being contoured. To do this, we need to change the threshold value. The default is set to 95% and we're going to start bringing it down using the down arrow until we see all the stray contours eliminated. I'm going to keep bringing it down and it looks like around 64% eliminates all of the stray contours but I still don't have the punch hole at the top contoured. So I need to change another setting to do that. That setting is called minimum diameter. The default is set to one and it looks at a fairly large shape to contour. If I want to also include smaller shapes, I need to decrease this value. So let me do that and I'll keep decreasing it until I see the punch hole contoured. So now I have the punch hole contoured but I also have some of the text down in the middle of the graphic outlined as well. Let me show you how to turn those off. We have contour selection tools down at the bottom of the menu. I'm going to select the selection tool and I'm going to just draw a box to include those contours. You can see how they changed color to show which ones are selected. And now I can go back to the tools and choose the deselect tool to deactivate those contours. You can see how they have changed color again to indicate that they are no longer active. Now I have my outline shape of the daisy contoured and I have my punch hole so I'm going to just exit out of this menu and go back to the layout screen. Once the contour is associated with the image I can size it up or down or use any other image print features like step and repeat and the contour will remain with the image. The next image to look at is the image print logo. I'm going to bring it on the page, make it a little larger, and again right mouse click on the image and select my contouring feature. Once in my contouring menu, I'm going to set the type to contour and we can see that nothing was contoured. My default minimum diameter is set too high, so let's go ahead and start lowering it until we have each of the letters contoured. We can start to see the letters being contoured and we have the interiors coming in as well. The last thing will be the dots on the eyes. Now let's zoom in a little bit and take a look at the contours themselves. We have some aliasing going on at the edge of the text and it's going to affect the shape of the contour. I could try to lower the threshold a bit to suck that in, but it's not going to get me what I want with normal resolution. When we pass in data to the contouring algorithm, we create a bitmap at a certain resolution. If you need more detail, you'll need to change the selection in the detail section. I'm going to change to high and we can see how the contour follows the outline in more detail. If I now select extreme, it has even more detail. Now if you are doing shapes, 
which will include offsets, normal will be fine for most everything. But if you have shapes where you want to cut right on the outline as close as possible, then changing this setting will get you more detail. I'm really happy with the quality of this contour, but I don't really want to cut out each letter. What I really want to do is have a contour follow the outline of the letters as a logo so I can make a sticker. So for this, I don't need extreme detail. So I'm going to switch back to normal and I'm going to show you how to treat these individual letters as if they were connected or welded together. To do that, I'm going to use my contour correction tools. I'm going to select my drawing tool and set the color to black. Back on my image, what I'm going to do is draw a line connecting each letter together. Now none of what I draw is going to be printed or imaged, so I don't need to worry that my line isn't straight. I'm just forcing my contour to follow a different path. Now that I have each item connected to each other, I can come up to my offset control and start to offset the contour away from the letters to make them form a shape around the entire logo. Let me turn off interiors because I just want the outline. Now I'll continue to offset the contour and you can see how the contours start to weld together. Take a look at this area between the N and the T. You can see these individual contours pinched together and as the offset is increased, they will eventually weld together in a combined shape. Once you reach the desired shape you're after, you'll have a nice outline you can print onto adhesive material to make stickers or paper for promotional pieces. Let me exit out of this menu and again you can see the shape with the image on the layout window and you can change the size or do whatever you want at this point. The final image we're going to look at is this garment. Let me load it and again go into my contouring menu and we'll take a look at the remaining features we need to cover. Let's zoom in and we can see the contour algorithm trying to contour each little piece of fringe. Those are way too small to be cut out individually and we can also see how it's trailing into the garment as well through these small openings. So what we want to do is tell the algorithm to skip over them. The way we do this is with the notch filter. So I'm going to come up here and raise the notch value. The notch filter sets a distance to skip over these small items. I'm going to raise this about three clicks and we can see how the contour is now going above the fringe. I'll zoom back out and we can see that we have a nice contour around the entire shape of the garment. That covers all the contouring features. Thanks for dropping by and we hope you join us again for another image print tutorial.